diplomatic call, fellow Africans, ladies and gentlemen. I'm happy to welcome you all to Accra for the fifth meeting of the Presidential Task Force on the ECOWA Single Currency. Following our last meeting in Niamey, capital of the Republic of Niger, on 24th October 2017. Take this opportunity to reiterate again our gratitude to President Mohamedou Isifu for his warm hospitality during our visit. Ghanaians, as you know, also pride themselves on their sense, of, very much on their sense of hospitality. And we hope you will all enjoy your all too brief stay with us. Akwaba is our word of welcome. Our gathering here, Excellencies, within the short space of some four months is sufficient testament to the importance we attach not only to the establishment of a monetary union, but also to the larger agenda of West African integration. The Ministerial and Technical Committee, which have been meeting for the past few days, are to be commended for carrying out to the letter the decisions taken by the Presidential Task Force at the Niami meeting. It has been nearly 20 years since the idea for the establishment of a single currency for ECOWAS was proposed. We've had challenges along the way towards the attainment of the convergence criteria required for the single currency to come into effect. We've also chalked some significant successes to this end. Nonetheless, we remain determined to have a single currency which will help remove trade and monetary barriers, reduce transaction costs, boost economic activity, and raise the living standards of our people. It is a goal we must achieve. In this regard, I urge ECOWAS member states to renew their commitment to the ratification and implementation of the relevant ECOWAS protocols, such as the protocol on the free movement of persons, goods and services, the ECOWAS Trade Liberalization Scheme, ETLS, and the Common External Tariff, CET. Trade, however, cannot thrive in an environment of insecurity. Our efforts must also be directed towards maintaining regional peace and security, democracy and good governance, as well as strengthening the ties of cooperation that exist amongst us. We must all in this regard commend the systematic efforts being made by the countries of the G5 du Sahel and by the Buhari government in Nigeria to degrade and diminish the capabilities of the jihadists and Boko Haram, terrorist groups who are threatening the security and peace of our region. These efforts must receive the unconditional backing of all the states of Ecuador as the fight they are waging is a fight for all of us. Excellencies, the structure of economy bequeathed to us by the colonialists, was aimed at serving our co servicing our colonial masters, essentially raw material producing and exporting economies. The structural transformation of our economies can no longer be postponed. If we are to meet the aspirations of our young people for jobs, the era of Africa's industrialization has dawned so that we can also trade in the world economy, not on the basis of exports of raw materials, but on the basis of things we make. Our quest for a single currency is not intended to boost trading of goods produced in third-party countries. It is meant to encourage produ the production of goods and services within the region. It is thus incumbent on us to strengthen the productive base of our economies 
and to pr improve agricultural productivity and industrial production. With a population of some 350 million people, which is expected to increase to 500 million in the next 20 years, and with a total of some 600 million United States dollars as GDP, there is a viable market ready to absorb the goods which will be produced by our industries. Excellence, it was agreed at the Niami meeting that the target date for the introduction of the ECOWAS single currency remains 2020, some two years away. The task force also requested that the roadmap for the ECOWAS single currency be renewed, reviewed to ensure that the processes for the creation of the single currency are accelerated. I'm informed that under the auspices of the ministerial committee, this assignment has been successfully carried out. I urge your, ex your excellencies to examine the conclusions and recommendations of the ministerial meeting and emphasize the need to put in place measures to implement the revised roadmap to achieve the objective of starting the single currency program in 2020. It is for this reason that I entreat your excellencies of the task force and the ECOWAS authority of heads of state and government to give presidential assent to the implementation of the revised roadmap that will be adopted at our meeting. We need to ensure that the ECOWAS Commission is provided with the needed resources through the setup of the special fund for financing the activities of the revised roadmap. I call also on governments of our member states to take all measures to ensure that the macroeconomic convergence criteria, a prerequisite for the introduction of the single currency, is consistently met. This will invariably require marrying the convergence targets with our national macroeconomic targets. This is my hope that as we shape the future of ECOWAS, we are positioning West African enterprises to compete effectively in the global space. There are many amongst us who cannot accept that it is only Asians who can engineer their transition from poverty to prosperity in a generation. We should be determined to emulate that in our generation in West Africa and ensure that succeeding generations will be neither victims nor pawns of the world order. We have a historic opportunity to create a new reality for the peoples of ECOWAS, a reality of general prosperity and progress. Let us seize this opportunity. I thank you all for your attention, and may God bless us all and the peoples of ECOWAS, and may God bless Mother Africa and make her great and strong.